Hi everybody, this is the LG 55UH8500. It's a 55 inch LCD TV from LG, the smallest size in a series of TVs LG is calling Super UHD. In our view, however, it wasn't so super. The best things about the UH8500 series are its design and feature set. As you can see, it has a very sleek look with a sweet curved stand, metallic finish, and even a distinctive white backside. I'm also a fan of LG's motion remote. Instead of clicking around on the screen to activate different selections, you can move the little cursor much more quickly by waving the remote itself, just like a Nintendo Wii controller. The menu system is more responsive than last year and makes full use of that motion control, although it's not as intuitive as some I've tested. LG's selection of streaming apps is also narrower than some other systems, but it does offer three with high dynamic range, aka HDR, Netflix, Amazon, and Vudu. HDR can look even better than 4K video, and unlike Sony and Samsung TVs, LG supports both HDR10 and Dolby Vision formats, providing the widest selection of HDR movies and TV shows. This is also one of the few TVs you can buy these days that works with 3D, and it comes with two pairs of passive 3D glasses, the exact same kind used in movie theaters. So far so good, but the most important part, image quality, the UH8500 falls short of competitors from Samsung and Vizio. It produced a lighter shade of black and with more blooming or stray light, so overall contrast and punch was worse, whether watching standard or HDR video. Color and bright room performance were very good, but not good enough to best the competition. And if you're considering the 55-inch version of this set, you should know that LG's cheapest OLED model, also a 55-incher, costs pretty much the same and has an image that leaves the so-called Super UHD TV in the dust. I'm David Katzmeyer for CNET.